Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Pets and today I'm going to talk to you about blue-green algae. You may well have seen environmental health warnings um, outside ponds or lakes or locks or um, canals as well sometimes um, about um, blue-green algae do not enter or drink the water. And you may have wondered why that was and why they were taking it so seriously. Well, blue-green algae is serious and um, it, it, it's that stuff that looks like pea soup and in fact um, it can actually be seen from space which is extraordinary uh, and the foam that you might see around that sort of pea soup effect as well is also part of the dangerous green blue algae. Now green blue algae is a group of bacteria um, that is very toxic to your pet. It's toxic to humans as well, but for humans it tends to cause more skin rashes and stomach upsets. Whereas for your dog, it is very serious for them and it can kill them in just 15 minutes. So the key thing is, if you see any of that algae, don't let your dog swim. Um, in, in, the, in the pond or even go too close to, to lick around the edge. Even a couple of licks could be fatal. Um, it, it attacks their liver, that's, that's what it does. Um, uh, the algae is present all year round, but it's worse in late summer and early autumn, so round about now, after a long hot summer or a dry spell. Um, so that can make it worse um, or more prevalent. So be careful. It can also um, grow in your garden. So it can also grow um, in a water butt, in a, um, a stagnant um, bucket of water or a watering can. So empty out any old stagnant water you've got and rinse it all out very, very carefully and thoroughly. Um, so not all algae is poisonous. But unless you know for certain that the algae you've got around your garden is fine, just be careful because it is dangerous stuff. Now, if your dog is affected, the important thing is to get them out as quickly as possible and hose them down really thoroughly. So not just a little bit, a really thorough hose down with clean water as quickly as possible. Um, if a, a dog does survive the blue-green algae, it is likely that they will have long-term health problems as a result. Initially, they may, um, it may cause vomiting, seizures, breathlessness. Um, so get them to the vet as quickly as you possibly can. Currently, there is no antidote to blue-green algae, so I'm afraid it is generally um, fatal. So take those warning signs very seriously. Um, if you do find any, um, they also ask that you report it to, um, to the Environmental Health Agency so that they can make sure that other pets are safe as well. I hope that's been useful. That's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Pets.